What's up, guys? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, man. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. I'm excited to make this video, guys. These are the seven signs someone in your life is a satanic agent. What is a satanic agent? Someone who's being used by the devil. Okay, now I'll add some balance to this, okay? Some people are being used unwillingly, but it doesn't discredit them for being an agent. Okay, agents are sent by someone, okay? Agents are sent by people by their hand. Just like in the movie The Matrix, right? Morpheus told Neo that anyone who's still plugged into the system is your enemy. Anyone who's still plugged into the system is your enemy. So what does that mean? Anyone who is not set apart, Anyone who's not sealed with, with the, the seal of God, the whole that doesn't have the Holy Spirit, has potential, has potential to be your enemy. Okay, now I won't, I won't say that they're all your enemies, but I'll just say they have potential because if they don't have the Holy Spirit, what spirit do they got in them? Okay, so certain spirits can jump in their vessel to, to, to work through them to get to you. When you're chosen by God, when you're anointed by God, Okay, you got to understand that the devil can't get to you. So he's going to try to use someone else to try to get to you, to, try to, to lead you to temptation, to get you to go backwards. I'm, I told you guys I'm going in. I'm going in on this video. So always understand, oh, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, let's go. Woo, let's go, man. Let's go. All right, number one. Number one. Oh, man. I got Bible verses for days, guys. They will tell you everything you want to hear to lure you in. Okay, what does Satan tell Eve in the garden? He told her everything she wanted to hear. Okay, easily deceived the weaker vessel. She told he told he he knew. What do agents do? Okay, at least in my experience with agents, they tell you everything you want to hear. Even the Bible says that such is the lips of a strange woman. Okay, the the, the, the lips of a strange woman is uh I'll leave a Bible. I don't know the verse by heart, but I'll leave a Bible verse right here. It talks about how um she's deceptive with her words. Okay. Now I know it's not just only for a woman; it's also for men too. Because I had uh, so-called brothers in Christ, so-called, you know, who who were sent by their handler, Satan, you know, sent by them, and they would, you know, tell you, "Oh, Mark, I love your videos." Oh, and they told me everything I wanted to hear to lure me in. Okay, so it goes for both parties. But that's one thing they do: they're deceptive. Satan is deceptive. An agent is deceptive. So I always understand that, and a satanic agent. Uh, someone who's being used by the devil, they're going to take on the same traits as the devil, okay? So when they're being deceptive, now let me make this, let me add some balance to this. Someone who's, who's complimenting you, showing you love, that does not make them an agent. So you got to have wisdom, use your own discernment. There's a bunch of people who tell me, Mark, I love your videos, Mark, I love you, you know, stuff like that. That doesn't make them an agent. But just one thing I noticed, okay, they will, especially that strange woman, which flatters with her tongue, she's going to tell you everything you want to hear in the beginning. And see, this is how you know she's an agent, right? She'll tell you everything you want to hear in the beginning. And then when the mission fails, I'm going to go in, bro. When the mission fails, then that's when the mask comes off. I'm going in. Okay, so always understand that. When someone's complimenting, when someone's showing you love, that's cool. But just take it with a grain of salt. Because you understand that spirits are jumping in and out of people. And they might love you one day, love you one week. But the next week, you're just a complete enemy. You're just, you're just they're, they're call you the devil, you know. So always understand that. All right, number two. One thing about a satanic agent, they come to you first, okay? They come to you first. Now, always understand that the reason why they're coming to you first, because like I said, they're sent. They're sent by the, by the handler. Who is the handler? Whatever fallen angel. Just like how in the, in the kingdom of God, God has his heavenly angels. They got certain ranks. In the kingdom of Satan, Satan has his fallen angels who have certain ranks too. So it's not only Satan. Whatever their names are, all I know is Satan and, and Azazel. His angel is mentioned in the book of Enoch. He was a fallen angel. He taught women how to put on makeup, taught women how to do sorcery with, you know, getting highs, doing drugs, taught multiple, uh, many things. Okay. So whatever fallen angel, whatever it was, they, they, they were sent by the head and they come to you first. They reach out to you first. Okay. Oh, not now. Of course, I got to add some balance. We don't live in paranoia. We don't live in fear. Not everyone who comes to you is an agent. Okay. There's always that one person. So I'm just saying one thing I learned about these satanic agents they come out to you first. They reach out to your DMs. They reach out to, you know, they, they reach, out, reach out to you first because they were sent. Okay, this is where wisdom comes in hand. You got to know who's sent from God and who's sent from the devil. Because best believe, guys, especially if you're on that narrow path, the, the devil doesn't want you to reach into eternal salvation because he's miserable. He's inside. He's miserable. He wants you to go to the lake of fire because that's where he's going. So he's going to try to send people who are deceptive. I'm going in, bro. I'm going, let, me, let me chill. Let me chill. All right, number three. Number three. Woo! All right, they claim... They claim they love God, Jesus, and go to church. So always understand this. Someone might be saying, this is why it's important, guys, to watch the entire video before you leave a comment. 
You might be saying, you know, well, Mark, I go, I go to church. You know, I love Jesus. I love God. Am I an agent? <laughs> okay, so the Bible says that even the devil disguises himself as an angel of light. Okay, it even says that in, I believe the verses here, it even says that in James chapter 2 that uh, even the devils and demons, even they believe in God. Even they believe in Jesus. So just because, and like I said, they're deceptive. Satan is deceptive. So, you know, his, the agents are deceptive too. They're going to come to you. Yeah, I love the Lord. I go to church. I go to church every Sunday. Uh, you know, even though the holy day, according to the Bible, is on Saturday. Okay, the Sabbath day is on Saturday. It's not on Sunday. Okay, uh, just because someone says they love Jesus, they love God. That's cool. That's great. That's, that's amazing. Okay, but the, Jesus says that, you know, a tree by its fruits. A good tree can't bear bad fruit. So best believe, guys, the way someone dresses, they say, the way someone talks, the, the works they're doing for the kingdom, you know, your, your faith by your works. It's going to show. You'll know. When, you have, when you're have you on this narrow path for a um, couple of years, you have, you'll have wisdom. You'll, you'll be able to detect these type of people. And as children of God, we have love. So just because someone's not living right, we don't just cast them away. We still pray for them. We still help them. You know, we still want to be, you know, a light to them. Because that's what God, uh, Jesus calls us to be, to be a light into people. Okay, so... Just because they, you know, they go to church, they love God, love Jesus, guys. That's what all the agents have said in my life. All of them, all of them, they all go, they all, not all of them went to church, but they all claim they love God and love Jesus. This is deception, guys. That's how they lure you in. Deceit. Okay. So always keep that in mind. Just, you know, and, and a lot of these agents too, not just age, people in general, they're just loving God for a season. Okay. They're just loving Jesus for a season. They're just going to church for a season, a couple months. Eventually they're going to fall away because even Jesus talked about this in the parable. Um, you know, I'll leave a picture right here. Okay. Some people, their faith is building on a, it's building on a rock. It's building on, on a thorn. Okay. It's not built on good soil. So some of these agents who come in your life who claim they love God, it's just for a season. A lot of people are seasonal. Think about the times guys, where we get in relationships or we get into friendship, friendships, a lot of times, guys, and especially in these modern times, these modern society, this modern society we live in, it's just seasonal, okay? Just like how people, they're just loving God for a season. And what is the love of God according to the Bible? The love of God is keeping God's commandments. Who in today's age is keeping God's commandments, okay? Now, I'm not going to say that we're not going to fall short and be, you know, 100% perfect, but that's how we love God. And see, God wants us to show we love him by actions, not by just saying with your mouth that you love God, that you love Jesus, that you go to church, by your actions, your fruits, Okay, God is a man. God ain't playing with us. He ain't playing with us. So we, when he said we love him, we got to have actions behind that. Not just say, I love God, and then you live like the devil. Okay, so always understand that. One thing about a satanic agent, right? The Bible talks about there's vessels of God and there's vessels of sin. Not, 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 like I said early in the beginning of this video, some people are, are being used unknowingly, unwillingly. They don't know that they're being used. Okay, and like I said, whatever door they're opening through sin, through rebellion, through disobedience is allowing their vessels to be used by sin. One thing about a satanic agent too, right? This is like a bonus one. Let's go a bonus one real quick. Okay, so they won't know they're being used. And then a couple of days later, they'll realize, dang, like I, I, everything I said to no, number one, everything I said that uh, I, I love him and uh, this and that or love her, that I didn't really mean it because they were just trying to lure you in. Was, their vessels were being used. Same was using their vessel to deceive you and have to use them. Okay, so number uh, four. <laughs> Once a mission is complete, or they fail to do what the handler, Satan, whatever fallen angel, says, the mask comes off, guys. When the mask comes off, when the agent, the reason why I said fail, because they don't always, uh, their mission, whatever they were sent to do, and best believe, guys, when the agent sent your way to destroy you, or whatever, you know, the accomplishment the Satan sent them to do, and they destroy you, they get rewarded. In the kingdom of darkness, in the kingdom of Satan, they get rewarded. And if they fail, they get punished. Okay, saying it has no use for them, so he's going to cut them off. Just like in the kingdom of God, if you went working for the for God, he's going to cut you off. There's no use for you. Ain't no use for you. Jesus talked about this in the parable about uh, a man had five talents, two talents, and one talent. The guy who had one talent was cut off. Same thing with how the, the devil's a copycat. If, if you're working for saying, right, and you ain't you ain't producing nothing, he's going to cut you you cut your behind off. I'm going to keep it clean. He's going to cut your behind off. There's no use for you. So always understand that. Once the mission's complete, and guys, it's gonna, it's, you're gonna go crazy realizing, wow, you were that the whole time. But see, you were deceived because of the words. You were deceived. You, you couldn't see their character. You couldn't see their true intentions because they were leaving. They were deceiving you through their words, the deceit. Okay. Oh, I love you. Oh, you're the best I ever had. Uh, all these words, right? That strange tongue. That strange woman. Okay. I'm telling you, brother. And when the mask comes off, it's gonna shock you. It's gonna be like, there's no way. 
I was sleeping next to the devil. There's no way I was uh, befriending uh, Satan himself. <laughs> you know, because remember, it's all spirits, spiritual. Okay, not to say that they're Satan, but, you know, Satan jumps in their vessel of spirit. The, the devil's a spirit, not a person. So when the mask comes off, I mean, it's bringing back flashbacks, guys. Once the mask comes off, whatever the mission they sent, where, where God is giving you signs through dreams, God, you know, you know, the, you're seeing the red flags, God's warning you. Okay, and then now you start, you know, like, nah, I'm good, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good, I'm going my own way. Heck, nah, I'm out, right? And then that mask reveals itself. Now that person, because they know that, especially if they know they're working for the devil, okay? They know that after, if they fail to do whatever their mission they were done to, uh, to destroy you, they're gonna, they're gonna get more mad. So they're gonna try their best they can to, to, to slander you. They're gonna team up with your enemies. They're gonna do their best they can because they know that they're about to be, if they don't, uh, whatever mission, whatever deal they made with Satan, if they don't get completed, Satan has no use for them, okay? He has no use for them. Okay, number five. They lead you to sin and separate you from God and your purpose, okay? If you have you know, someone in your life, guys, who's leading you to sin, and let's say if you're trying to do things in a righteous order, and they're like, oh, no, we don't have to do that. You know, we could you know, we could do things our own way. That is a sign of, a, of an aging, especially if you find yourself not doing your purpose no more, or, you know, you're not even focused on it. That's a sign. All right, number six is they cause you to backslide and go backwards in life. Yes, guys. One thing about an agent... Um, Let's say things are going, you're on the narrow path, things are going good, right? Everything's going good. And they come in your life and you start to fight and find yourself backsliding. Okay, clearly that person's not of God. A person who's sent from God, of course, they're not going to be perfect. Of course, they're not going to be without sin. But they're going to want you, they're going to be like, you know, a loving spirit. They're going to want you, you know, both of you guys together. It's not just a relationship. It could be like a friend. Unfortunately, you know, it could be like a family member too, okay? It's going to try your best you guys can do to, you know, walk that narrow path to walk in righteousness. Like I said, not, that doesn't, just because someone falls short or sins doesn't make them a devil, okay? So use your wisdom, use your own discernment, okay? So always understand that. But if you with them the whole time, let's say y'all been together for two months, right? And now all that two months, nothing but backsliding, that person's not set from God. The whole two months, they feel no conviction. And see, when you feel conviction, that means you have the Holy Spirit in you. They feel no conviction because the Holy Spirit doesn't, doesn't dwell within them. Okay, number seven. Oh, yup. <laughs> yup, your number seven. Your relationship with God was better uh, was better uh, before them. Okay, before they enter your life, you you know you was you know honoring God. You were doing the best you can, man. You were loving God, showing that you love God. Remember by actions, by you know walking in the Spirit, having the faith in Christ, uh, doing the work of God. You know keeping God's commandments. You know honoring Him. Okay. And when they come into your life, it just, like, let's say you're on your way to, let's say you're on that narrow path, right? Or actually, we're going, we're going up because the kingdom of God, we leveling up. So let's say you start from here. Before they were, that age was your life, you were just going up and up and up, up and up and up. You're leveling up, leveling up, new devils, new levels, new devils, okay? They come into your life, a more deceptive devil, okay? Now, all of a sudden, you just go, you, you just go down. Everything just starts going down. Agent! <laughs> That's an agent. If they were coming in your life, and, and, and the relationship with God was, was better before them, guys. Guys, have wisdom. This is why it's important, guys, to not be so quick to open, to spread your legs. Not be so quick to, you know, have a soul tie with the individual. Because once you have a soul tie, it's going to be harder to cut them off. Especially if you're younger and especially if you're a woman. You're a weaker vessel. According to the Bible, the, the Bible says that women are the weaker vessel. So if you're open, you're, even the Bible says that a woman was only bound to have one husband. A woman was not designed to have many you know many bodies in, inside her okay she it wasn't designed for that so when that is happening and you're allowing these dudes to cut you know just you know just spread it spread it so openly understand that it's going to be a lot harder not to say it's not possible for to cut off that soul time but it's going to be a lot harder for you to be set free and you know release that person in your life because best believe guys it's a spiritual warfare out here okay always number one remember they tell you everything you want to hear to lure you in have wisdom have god have the Holy Spirit. Obedience. If you don't obey God when God's showing you the signs, when God's giving you the warning flags, and one thing what God will do, because God loves us, okay? He will fight your battles that you don't even know. You don't you won't even know that there's a war someone's trying to come into your life. But see, God will fight your battles for you. If you be obedient, okay, but sometimes guys, we could, you know, like God trying to fight our battles, but like, nah, God, I, I want that person. Nah, you know, you leading into your own understanding, you will be destroyed. Okay, I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash this like button. Make sure you guys share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. Make sure you check out this Instagram video right here too. It talks about how seven signs someone in your life is sent by the devil. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.